Okay, so the first thing we're doing, I'm gonna wash my hands too. Wash my hands. Mm -hmm. And I am going to wash my celery. So we need, so probably just one piece of celery. So one, right, one, one of the big ribs of celery. So I'm gonna wash mine at the same time. That was a very good idea that Marty had. So I'm gonna rinse my, all the dirt off of my piece of celery. So this recipe has lots of little things in it, right? So there's lots of different flavors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our chicken. I think Marty's using tuna. Is that right? So she's going to use tuna for this one. So if you need a can opener, you can use the can opener. If you have right, if you have whole, does anyone have fresh chicken? No. Okay. So I'm going to mine. If you might need a can opener, mine pop tops for whatever reason. Um, so I'm going to open up mine, and we want about two cups of this. Right. So I'm going to open up my can here. And be careful if you're opening it up, right? That's always the most dangerous part of cooking here, cutting yourself. So I'm going to drain out the liquid into the sink. Right. So draining the liquid out. Okay, so here's my chicken. And I'm going to measure it, and we'll see if that's enough. Um, I have two cans of it, but if not, you can just use the one can, and we can adjust the ingredients a little bit. All right, so we're going to want two cups, and with our measuring cups, right, we have the blue one is the cup measure, right, the big cup. So I'm going to kind of shred it up. I'm going to shred it up a little bit in the can. Put it in. So I think this is gonna be two cups. So I think it's pretty good. All right. All right. So this is my one cup of tuna. I mean tuna, chicken, and then another cup. How's everybody doing? Okay. Look at what she's doing. Okay. We'll put the other in there. Put it in the bowl. I could probably use a little bit more. I think I'm going to open up my other can. I look, feel like this isn't quite enough. If you only have one big can of it, that's okay. We can just put a half amount of the other ingredients in there, and that's all right. Uh, but it's also easy, like if you ever buy rotisserie chicken, does anyone ever buy rotisserie chicken at the grocery store? Do you all ever do that? Because you can use that, right? You can just use that chicken, and you can chop it up for this recipe. Okay. So it just makes it, you know, if you don't, it's, especially like in the summer, right, and it's so hot and you don't want to cook in the house, it's kind of nice to be able to do that. Okay. So I put some more in here. All right. So here's my chicken. Okay. I don't know where Susie went to. Okay. So we've got our chicken. All right. So we've got two cups of chicken. All right. Does everyone have their chicken in the bowl? Yeah. Or their tuna, depending. Okay. Jermaine's there. It looks like um, looks like Marty's on the ball as always. All right. So then we're gonna do a quarter cup of our raisins or our cranberries, whichever you have. So I like. So this adds a little bit of sweetness to it, right? So I'm gonna use raisins, and I have um, golden raisins. So I have raisins that are from from green raise from green grapes rather than from red grapes. But anything you have will work fine. Right? And so we're gonna use the, the purple measure, which is our quarter cup. Right. So I'm gonna fill our little thing up here. Okay, so here we go. I have my my quarter cup of raisins. There we go. I'll pop that in there. Okay, and then we're going to do a half a cup of our celery. So first we're going to chop our celery. Then we got our raisins in there, our cranberries. Yeah. Okay, so our half cup measure is the orange one, right? So the orange. So that's, just, that's what we're going to want to fill up with celery. So what I will do with my celery, because we want kind of small pieces, I'm going to cut off this kind of the big end down here, right, where it's a little bit wider, and to cut off just the very tip of it so we have a fresh end. And then I'm going to go down the center of it like this, 
See how I'm cutting it down all the way down the center? To cut it just so it cuts in half so the pieces will be a little smaller. Just like that. All right, so then we've got two pieces. So now we have two pieces yeah. of celery. All right. And then I'm going to chop chop the celery into little pieces. You can kind of keep your hands. Again, we want to keep, we can go slow and keep our hands away from the knife. Okay. Okay. How's everybody doing? Jermaine looks like she's doing a good job there. No, right. she's not. She's sewing instead of chopping. Yeah, some, I, sometimes I do. So to, to cut, you just want to sort of hold on to the knife and then you just push down and then push away. And just, you know, celery is, is very crisp, right? It's got all those little um, kind of yeah. membranes in it that you have to break. <laughs> yeah, so you yeah. just kind of push down and then out. So kind of push down and then out. So when celery has lots of fiber in it, and that's good for your digestion. Right, and it's got it's got quite a bit of water in it too, which is also good for you, right? So there are different ways to get water, right? We drink a lot of water, we should be, or we can eat some of it, right? So we can eat water through our celery or like cucumbers because they have a high water content. Okay, so that's my. Let me see if this is enough. So I'm gonna I've chopped mine up. I'm gonna put it in my cup. Okay. So I look like I'm a little light, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse one more piece of celery, and I'm gonna cut up a little bit more. Um, if you don't like celery as much, you could leave a little bit of it. You could just go a little bit less, but it adds a nice. Um, it makes this. It makes the, the the dish kind of crunchy, which is nice when you eat it. Okay. So I'll do that again. I'm gonna do just a little piece of it this time. I don't need quite as much. So I'll cut that, and again I'll cut it down the middle like this and then we'll chop it up again right so you push down okay. how's everybody doing you doing okay there Jermaine and Marty I think is probably already almost finished because she's always way ahead of us So I think I've got my half cup now with that little bit I added. How are you doing, Jermaine? We're trying to see if we have enough in a cup. <laughs> okay. If you're close, then I think we're probably good. And how are you doing there, Marty? You good? Does the cup have to be cup? Yeah, it looks up. Okay. Yeah, it's Let's you see. You have to fill the cup up? Yeah, see, see if you can get the half. Cup. How much do you have in there? That's fine. Just yeah. You can just add it to your recipe. Right. Half a cup. There you go. Now so a half cup, and you know as close as that as you can get, you'll be fine. It just it'll just adjust. It just depends how crunchy it is. Right. Okay. Right. And I think that's good. That's good. And I think that um, Jermaine doesn't didn't have the almonds, but I have almonds, so I'm gonna add my almonds. Right. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. And so almonds add again. It adds more protein to this. How much cucumbers? Um, this doesn't have cucumbers, but you could use cucumbers if you wanted to. You could add some cucumbers to it. You want cucumbers? No, that, the, the other the, our other recipe had cucumbers in it. This one doesn't. Oh, this one doesn't have it. Okay, no cucumbers. But you know, I, you can always then that's something that you could add if you like the cucumbers. I'll put this in a bag. Okay, but for the almonds, we, we're going to use a quarter cup again, right? So it's our purple measuring cup. Purple. So I have my I have my in there, and so I'm going to add that to my bowl. Okay. okay. All right. And then um, once we do that, has everyone been able to do that? And then we're going to add our onion. Okay, so we're going to take a couple different. So this is the green onion, right? The scallions, right? So we're going to chop those like we did the celery. So I'm going to rinse mine first, and this we're going to use a quarter cup again of this. 
Already went to get her slipper. She'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> what, the purple cup? Yeah, the purple cup. Purple cup. Okay. So we can stop. We can start chopping that. Okay, so, all right, get your, where's, where's your tuna? Bring your tuna, open the cans, and drain it. All right, so I'm going to start chopping this. Let me see that, okay. I see kind of have them all together, and we'll just, again, chop just like we did with the celery, in kind of small pieces. There, okay. Right. Man, you look good. Yay. Very good. It's just good, thank you. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. Then you gotta cut up the onions. All right, we got the onions going. And then there's Jermaine's the got hers. She looks like the, she's uh, doing a good job just there. Small, small, yeah. small, small, small. You want it kind of small, right? Because you, when you're eating this, right, you don't want a giant piece of onion unless you really love onion in big quantities. You know, I've heard some people eat like you know old regular onions, like apples sometimes, which I could not do. That is beyond my ability. And I like onion, but whew, whew. put it in there. Okay, so I think that's probably pretty good. Let me see. All right, so I have my little pile here. I'm going to measure it out and see how I'm doing here. All right, so I've got my quarter cup. I'm going to see how full it gets here with what I cut. So I probably cut a little too much. That's okay. Maybe I can save the rest for later for some other thing I make. All right, so there we go. I've got my, I've got my quarter cup. So I'm going to put that in there with my green onion. All right. Take the rest of that away. I don't need it. All right, so next we're going to do our cilantro. Uh, it should, it should be brown. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. We don't have time for that. We're in class. Okay. Hey. Get the other one. Is Marty doing her Instagram? Is she taking pictures of her dinner, of her lunch? That's funny. Okay, so the next thing is cilantro. And I know... Um, Jermaine had a hard time finding cilantro. If you've not used it before, it's usually right in the grocery store. It's next to like the parsley is there, basil's there, where all the herbs are. And and cilantro is usually like this, right in a bunch. So you'll see it in a bunch, but you may have to look sometimes on the tag, because if you're not used to buying it, it looks like parsley. But it, it always, you know, like it'll say on there, right, cilantro. So you can usually get the tag. And then once you start to see it, you see it's a little lacier than parsley mm -hmm. often, um, and it, it mm -hmm. smells different too. Okay, so I'm going to chop this up and we're going to, again, we're going to use our, we're using this, this is a very getting a lot of use today. Yeah. We're going to use a quarter cup of cilantro. So with this, I'm just going to, so you guys can watch this, so next time you make it. You can do it. Push, push, push. Okay, so I'm going to chop it like that, right? Just kind of chop a bunch off cute? of the end. And then you're going to chop it into small, so you kind of bunch it together and just, Chop down so it's in small pieces, and, properly, and then just bunch it up again and chop it again. So you just sort of keep rolling it back on itself so that you're going to kind of make it into smaller pieces. So some people like cilantro and some don't. I know Vanessa likes cilantro. I like cilantro. You get cilantro in a lot of Mexican food too. Um, yes, you do. And it's also great. lots of Asian food will use it too. Are you getting scorned? Yeah, okay. All right, so here's here's my little pile of cilantro. I'm gonna see. I want about a quarter cup of that, and that looks like what that about is. I don't know why they have a problem with cilantro. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's that. So the next thing we need is um, our, you're going to add our yogurt. Okay, so does everyone have, it's like a, just like a plain yogurt, right? We don't want one that's flavored for this. Cranberry, I mean blueberry. Okay, well, you, I don't think you, you don't probably want to use blueberry because it's going to taste kind of funky. Um, we want one that just says plain so it's not flavored at all. We, 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 ate, we ate the plain. You ate the plain? <laughs> Well, you could. What you could try to do is you could use mayonnaise instead, or you could use, um, you know, like a light mayonnaise instead. Why don't we try that? Because I think the the flavor will make it taste funny, and I don't think you want that. We can use the blueberry for the next dish, though, for the um for the parfait. So we'll use about a half cup of this. Um, you can also um, you could also use avocado in it, but I think we'll just. We'll use, we'll use a low-fat mayonnaise today or the, or the yogurt. So the yogurt is, right, this yogurt is a Greek yogurt, so it's kind of creamy. 
right? So we want to, um, again, we want a half cup, right? So it's the orange one. So I'm just going to... If you click on that little that says and, and, okay. I got everything. You got everything in there? Yeah. Okay, so you once you get it all in there, you can you can start mixing it together. Yeah, half a cup. That's right. Perfect. That looks good. Okay, so I have I have my thing in there. Almonds and the Cranberries. You got your and almonds there. and cranberries what in there? I'm sorry. I, they didn't. Okay. So once, so I have my yogurt in there. Does everyone have their yogurt or their mayonnaise in there? Okay. Okay. I can add that in there. You can use yogurt or mayonnaise? Yeah. Well, we're going to, well, we, we prefer the yogurt, but, um, but Jermaine only had a flavored yogurt today, which we don't want okay. like a blueberry in this. So she's going to go with the mayonnaise. And you can okay, do, okay. you can do, I, I actually think it tastes really good with the yogurt. It kind of adds a nice creaminess and the Greek yogurt's pretty thick. So it has a nice mouthfeel to it. Um, so that's the preference, but sometimes we don't always have what we want, right? And so we have to, we have to mix it. And for mayonnaise, you want like a lower fat mayonnaise. Right. Okay. So probably like two. Okay. So the next thing we're going to add is our lime, right? So I'm going to cut my lime in half. We want about a tablespoon. So about a half, a, about a tablespoon, which is, which for this is um, the green, right? Our green spoon, we're, we're looking at the spoons now. We want about a, a tablespoon. So I'm going to squeeze that into here. You can see that. And about a half of a, a lime is usually about a tablespoon. Right, so you could even just squeeze it all in there. You'll probably be pretty close. And you can cut up the onion. Right. I'm sorry, I didn't hear how much lime are we supposed to use? About a tablespoon. A tablespoon or about a half half of a lime. Right, so I'm squeezing my half right, and it's a, just about perfectly a tablespoon. So, so a tablespoon of that. So I'm going to add that into there next. Okay. Okay. Add that in. Add that in. Okay, and then once does everyone have their lime in? How they're doing with everyone? How's everyone doing with the lime? I'm gonna clean up my workspace a little bit here for a second. Um, right, so we've got a lot of stuff in there right now, don't we? we? Have a few more things to add. How you doing, Marty? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have left to add? We good? Okay. So we're gonna onions, I got tuna, cranberry. Okay. So Okay. Okay, good. So I'm gonna now I need to add my curry powder, right? Because I haven't done that yet. So if you haven't done that, we have our curry powder and we need one and a half teaspoons of that. All right, so the teaspoon is the purple spoon, right? Right. So yeah. so we need one of those. So you want it to be level, right? So I'm Right, I'm putting it in my thing and then I'm tapping it to make sure it's level. Right, so I've got that. There we go. Here's Ricardo Hello. joining us. Hello, so, everyone. Thank here's, you, Miss Kay. You're welcome. Here's, here's our teaspoon, <laughs> and then we're going to add another half teaspoon, which is the so orange. Much. The orange one. Oh, I'm okay. And how much do you need? Look on the menu. See how much you need. Yeah, so you need one and a half teaspoon. So then I'm going to add my half a teaspoon of, oh, yeah, I I of curry, have, curry powder. Oh, Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna add some a little bit of salt. Okay. So of the salt, we need a half a teaspoon again. So that's that's the orange one. So I don't 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 ever pour salt over a bowl like I was doing because that's a bad idea. Because then you can because if you go over then you can't take it out. So I'm just gonna do it over this, right? So if I get a little too much. Right, pouring it into here. Right, so there we go. So I, again, you want it to be flat. Right, you don't want it mounded. You don't want too much. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. And the last thing is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Right, so the quarter teaspoon is this is the blue the blue measuring spoon. And I'm going to um, I, I my pepper actually comes. I have to grate it. It kind of grinds it. 
but you're going to fill yours up if you have them that pours and I'm just going to grate I'm just going to grind mine over the top to kind of guess. The blue one says a half a tablespoon. What's a half a tablespoon? Half a teaspoon. No. Teaspoon. teaspoon. Is it supposed to be a teaspoon? Yeah, the teaspoon is the tablespoon is um is is abbreviated with the B where the teaspoon is just T S P. So I'll fix that. I'll can't... fix that in the in the in the final book that I send you guys. I'll spell I can't it out. See because I no, I know. I'll I'll spell the whole thing out when I do it. I'll, I'm going to send you all. You all are going to get a book, and so I'll fix that in the book. I'm lost now because I can't see that good. Um, yeah. I... <laughs> But Maybe we do have the color, right? So we want the blue, right? We want the blue one. Yeah, we want the blue one? The blue one for the black pepper. Half a teaspoon. Just a little bit, right? It's just to give it a little bit of kick. Okay. And once we have it in there, we're going to stir everything. All right. So you kind of get all the way down. You want everything to be evenly distributed. And how much salt were we supposed to put in there? A half a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Which is the um, the orange one, the orange spoon. So are you putting your yogurt in already? Yeah. Um, so you put in you put in a half a cup of yogurt, and it should be plain yogurt. Okay. Uh, so no flavor to the yogurt. Get your yogurt. Put your half a cup of yogurt. Got a cup of the onions, Marty. I am. I think do so keep stirring it together. All right. So this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. One fourth of a cup. One fourth. So how is everyone doing? Where are you in the process? Do I need to help anybody? Does anyone need some assistance with anything? Susie and I are right here. We're happy to give you any more. Because mine's done here, basically. Let me let me taste it. And, then stir it all together. My wife likes pepper, so add some more then, right? She's well. I'm not surprised. She's a peppery woman. I can see that. <laughs> you don't mess with Donna. Let me tell you. I am being quiet. I'm very light over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, once you, so then you can stir it all together. And Ricardo actually has a pita. So I'll show you guys if you ever want to try a pita, what, how you put it together. Okay. okay. So he's stirring so it. So what, what does you want to do with the lettuce? Just hold off the lettuce? Yeah, so, yeah, so stir everything together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut our pita in half. Right, right down the middle. Can you see what I'm doing? Here. Are you doing that down the middle? Right, so I'm going to cut it down the middle like this. The direction of... Right. And then you can see the pita actually opens up in the middle. Right, I can open it up. It's, it's a pocket. Right? So it's a pocket. Okay. And then if you want to, right, then you put in your lettuce. You put your lettuce in here. And then you put your, then you fill it up with the rest, with this. Right? You stuff it with the lettuce and with your with your chicken salad, right? And there you have a little stuffed pocket, right? And so if you want to, what else could you add to this, right? You could add tomato, right? You could add cucumbers. You could add some, some um, you could add some avocado to it. So whatever you want, but you can, you can just add some, you want, if you wanted to, you could, you know, if you had shredded carrots, you could put shredded carrots on top, but that's the, um, so then it's another sandwich. And then you can eat, right, it's easy to eat too, right? Cause it's all contained in there. We're going to do our parfait, which is pretty simple, you all. I think you'll like it. Okay. okay. So you want to start with, with the uh, chicken in and taste it? Yeah, you need to put it in, you guys need to taste it, but I'm going to have everyone else, we're going to, okay. we're going to, we all, this only has three ingredients in it, our next dish, right? It has yogurt, and you guys can use your flavored yogurt for this, Jermaine. Your blueberry yogurt will work great. Um, you can have okay. some kind of a fruit, and then granola. And if you don't have granola, you can also use like some Cheerios, or you can use um, bran flakes, something else just to get a little bit of a crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I have granola. I actually make my own granola because I'm kind of nerdy. Somebody but... told us how that you could use 
the cherry um, yeah yep absolutely you can totally and like the honey nut cheerios i think might be nice right because it has that little bit more crunch to it but totally can use i think you can use if you have a cereal on hand just you can use that no problem okay. say it again Okay. All right. So I'm gonna. We're, we're gonna. Ricardo, have you guys tried? Did you guys try it? Yeah. What do you think? Do you like curry? Is it too strong? Some people aren't curry. I love curry. But... Okay. So we're gonna do. We're gonna do our parfaits, everybody. Okay. So does everyone? Have, well, Marty's always four steps ahead. We know that. It's just a given. Um. So I have, right, I have, I have a giant thing of yogurt, okay, and then I have, I have today, I have, I'm working with strawberries, a big thing of strawberries, and then my granola, okay? So I'm going to, so if, does anyone, what kind of fruit do people have? What kind of fruit do you, do you have, Jermaine, do you have any fruit? I have, like, because I have, um, fruits, what kind? Frozen fruits. Frozen. Okay, great. Which one? Which just like mixed berries? Do you have mixed berries? Blueberries. Blueberries. Strawberry. Mm, mango. Mango. Oh, oh. oh, nice. Okay, mango. so so Marty's using frozen fruit, which works great. <coughs> I have fresh fruit. Okay, Ricardo has his yogurt. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah, cut up. I'm gonna. Um, one of the things I noticed on your list, you had two different types of yogurt. Yeah, That's yeah, right. One plain, one vanilla. Right. So they're different flavors, right? So the vanilla will be sweetened and the plain won't have any sweetness in it. Uh, okay. So that's the difference. Very good to notice that. So I'm going to cut up my fruit a little bit. Um, so I want about a half a cup of that. Right. And that's that orange size again. I'm going to eyeball it. Mine size. is dirty. Yeah. Right. About that, about that amount. But you know, you can, you can always put a little more in. We're not going to OD on fruit. So, you know, this this recipe, you know, so Marty has a variety of fruits in hers that are frozen. Um, but you could also write, you could put banana in here if you wanted to. You could put mango in here. Um, so kind of whatever you have on hand again. So I'm just going to, I'm using strawberry though, because I have that. All right. So what we're going to do is, it should look pretty when we're done. So, so with I'm, the strawberry, we should wash them off before using them? Yeah, you can rinse and do, do a quick rinse. Oh, my berries are fell on the floor. Oh, good. Yes, you definitely got to love Yeah, you got to rinse them. Okay. All right. I think Marty's probably already. So what we're going to do with our, so once we have our yogurt, right, see, I'm going to put it in a glass because it's going to look pretty when we're done. Okay. If you have a glass or a plastic cup, uh, but I'll do, I'm going to do mine in my glass, right? You see my glass here. I don't like that. All right. Marty. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put half okay. of my berries in my glass, right? So half on the bottom. Okay. Here's your bear, here's your, here's your blueberries. Okay, okay so you gotta so down and put half your blueberries in your glass or your cup. Okay, see mine? So I got about half my berries in there. And then I'm gonna put half of my yogurt on top of it. Right? I have my yogurt. Uh -huh. Is that the vanilla? That's the vanilla this is the yogurt. vanilla yogurt, right? The vanilla. So the vanilla goes on on top, right? So you see you have a little layer. See how pretty that looks? See that? One teaspoon, how much teaspoon are we using of that? Yellow too? No, no teaspoon. You're just going to put half of whatever your container is. Oh. Okay? You don't actually have to, just kind of half. So it'll be about a quarter cup. Okay? Then you put the rest of your fruit on top, the other that's left. Okay? Seeing this at the store. Right? <laughs> and then you put the rest put of your yogurt on top of that. Right? So another little half, you know, the rest of the other half of your container. Right? So see how pretty it is? Doesn't that look nice? And then you're going to put your two tablespoons of granola on it. Right? So I have my little bit of granola. So then you sprinkle your granola on top. Okay. Again, you can use cereal for this too. Or you could put a couple little nuts on there. They got cereal in there, though. Right? So see, see how that looks? Doesn't that look nice? Look at that, look how pretty that looks. Right? Yeah. 
So that's a nice dessert. So that's then that's a snack for you. So you can make this ahead of time, right? And put it in the fridge. And then just pull it out when you're ready to have your snack. And you could use this for dessert for dinner too, right? Rather than just a snack. And like, so, you know, Jermaine has blueberry yogurt, right? So you could use different flavored yogurts too. Mine's actually a cinnamon yogurt mm -hmm. that I have. Mine's cinnamon. Um, but you could use any flavor yogurt you want to, right? With fruit. And so it gives you a lot of choices. So you can pick what you like. I'm